This is Camp Kennet. What's going on everyone? Kennan here and so many of you have been asking about Lumpy and how he's doing and what have I been doing to keep his health up and obviously guys we've got this feeding tube that goes into his neck right there. Uh, it had to be surgically placed into his neck and it goes right down into a smaller tube into his stomach. Now this is a very aggressive way of trying to get this animal to turn around as far as health is considering uh, because it's a surgical uh, solution. Now, why did we do this? Well, number one, I had, I had Lumpy in a tub. He would not drink. Um, things were just not progressing, wouldn't eat, wouldn't move. And um, it called for a more aggressive way of treating this animal. So I went to my vet and he surgically implanted the tube. Now, the first time he did it, we used a smaller diameter tube and unfortunately some of the critical gear, uh, which I'll show you guys in a moment, it's kind of a liquid food one that I mixed up, it actually got impacted in the tube uh, and so we had to remove it and put a larger diameter tube uh, down his throat. Uh, he can still move, he can walk, he's been walking around which is good, his eyes are open, but there is an actual suture around this tube as it goes through his neck and into his stomach. Um, so what we're doing tonight, it's the evening kind of uh, treatment. Uh, as you can see, I've got things set up here, it's kind of messy, uh, I've spilt a little bit, so my apologies. But what we've got to do is get about 500 milliliters of um, liquids and uh, some other medicines into this tortoise. So um, what we got here is something called Pedialyte. And since he's been dehydrated, we did a, um, we actually did a blood test, which is one of the first things you want to do is get a blood test because the blood test after the x-ray is going to be uh, critical in figuring out what's wrong with the animal. And the blood test came back that the animal's dehydrated. So as we know, tortoises, even though they're desert species, these animals need water. And so for whatever reason, it could have been a parasite uh, that was causing him not to drink and therefore slowing down his intestines, slowing down his kidneys. We don't want this animal to go into renal failure. So we've got something called Pedialyte. Pedialyte's made for people. It has a lot of electrolytes. So we're gonna actually pump two vials, okay? And then we're also gonna put 50 milliliters uh, where did my 50 ml of mineral oil go? Here it is. This is our mineral oil. That is also something that is going to be used to kind of loosen up his stool, okay? Uh, lubricate his, his uh, alimentary canal or digestive system. Then we're going to flush it with some water, okay? And then we're going to put the Pedialyte in and then I'm going to also flush it again with some more water, bringing us up to 500 milliliters of liquid in this treatment. Then I'm going to break Come back and tomorrow morning I'm gonna show you how I feed uh, the tortoise a liquid diet. And that actually is uh, considered 500 milliliters of liquid. I'm also going to be giving him tomorrow some medication. It's an anti-parasite uh, medication. Uh, so I'm gonna give him that as well. So here's what we gotta do. I'm gonna set this up so that I can just get hands free and you guys can take a look at everything that I need to do uh, when working with this animal. It's uh, super important to make sure, obviously, when dealing with this kind of situation, that you are working with your vet. I'm also working with my close friend, Sam Piscucci. You guys remember, um, we did a story on one of his tortoises uh, that he nursed back to health, a Galapagos tortoise uh, by the name of HMS. And HMS has a full recovery uh, over the situation that he was in. All right, there he is, Lumpy. And uh, we're going to get it moving here, people. Okay, we're going to start with the, um, the it's about 55 milliliters of mineral oil. And you just place it into the tube like this. And we're going to go ahead and push it in. Just push it right into his little belly. And I want to keep this tube elevated. And then, because there's not enough uh, mineral oil to go all the way through, you got to make sure you follow that up with the water and that is also going to be helping us because we're going to be putting away uh, we're going to be putting away that mineral oil we're going to be flushing out the tube which is very very important okay so we're going to do that something else I forgot that I wanted to mention after we do this Pedialyte right here 
we're going to use Metamucil. And actually, Metamucil is a product um, that contains something called psyllium. And that's something that is a laxative, and it helps out animals and even people. Metamucil is for people, but you can use it for your tortoises as long as you're not using a flavored kind. Um, no citrus, but um, we're putting that Pedialyte in there. That's that electrolytes. But the Metamucil is going to be good because it's going to really start getting that gut going. Um, that's the problem. This guy's gut has stopped. And when a tortoise's gut stops, it's no good. So here's, I've mixed it up. Okay, so now we have to get a couple more. Um, we just did, let's see. We just did 60, 60. It's 120. I know that seven is 360. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give him a couple more vials of this because we wanna get up to 500 milliliters. All right. So let's, this is what I do. I just kind of draw it up into here. Going to 60. Going all the way to 60 cc's, 60 milliliters. And then I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna do some math and uh, get right back to you. But we're gonna keep drawing up these syringes so we can get the 500 milliliters because it's a thousand milliliters makes one liter and that's what I've gotta be, that's what I've gotta get them. Okay. Oh, I know, buddy, I know. He just got nervous. He gets a little nervous, but this is something that has to be done. So uh, yeah, just give me a second. I'm gonna do some calculations. I'll be right back. All right, so what I figured out is we're gonna need three more syringes with Metamucil into this guy to bring us up to 500 milliliters. We're gonna also rinse it out with this water here. So. Because we want to get this guy hydrated and the Metamucil is also going to do more than just that. It's actually going to help him get some fiber into his belly. And that fiber is then going to, here comes the water, that fiber is going to help bind up and get his gut moving again so we can correct the constipation issue. We, we really got to restart him. So that's what I do in the evening. All right, when he goes to bed, and then what I like to do also is I just take these forceps and I clamp down, and uh, this keeps any air from really getting in there into his stomach. We'll just go ahead and tape that like that. And then I also just put a syringe right on the edge there, and he just relaxes. So basically that's what I do in the evening. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up and we're gonna get around about 500 milliliters of uh, more water, uh, more liquid, but of course some of the food, and then, oh, I know, I know, I know. And then hopefully this guy's gonna be okay. All right, talk to you tomorrow, Lumpy. All right, good morning everybody. Ken in here along with Lumpy. And as you can see, Lumpy's outside right now, and we, I like to get him outside. I like for him to walk around. Uh, that's what he's doing. He's uh, walked from the garage, which is over there, and uh, now he's over here. And uh, what I did is I mixed up the proper dosages of the food uh, with some Pedialyte uh, and water, of course. Um, this way I got an accurate measurement. I actually uh, mixed it all up in a blender. We've got some Flagyl. It's also called Metrozin. That's exactly right. There you go. But it's also called Flagyl. It's an anti-protozoal medicine. Uh, and I've got my Ceftazidine injection. So uh, I just wanted to, you know, include this uh, process as well. Now this hopefully will uh, help him out if he's got some kind of gut bacteria, any kind of protozoa, that's going to help him out. And then we also mixed in something called critical care. And as you can see, there's a little lizard there, a little iguana. And uh, this is their herbivore diet. Um, it's basically a powder and what you do is you mix it on up um, so that 
you know, you mix it up. They have the instructions here uh, for the uh, volume that you need for the weight of your animal. Um, but what I did is I mixed it thinner because we don't want it to get caught in that smaller tube that goes into his throat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to feed him. This is going to be the food, the medication, uh, and liquids today all mixed up in one. And of course, when I'm done feeding him the foods, I'm going to also have to go back and run some fresh water through the tube to make sure that we don't have any issues with that, uh, any of the materials in the food kind of blocking up uh, this situation. But I wanted to kind of give you guys the real scoop on how uh, you really got to take care of your animals when they're sick. Now, I also have to tell you folks, there's no guarantee this is going to help them. Um, you know, it, it's kind of tough for me. It's a bummer because, you know, we're doing all this with the help of my veterinarian and my friend Sam Piscucci uh, in the hopes that this turns around the illness and the blockage that's been affecting Lumpy. But with reptiles, sometimes they can be the toughest animals on earth, and other times they are actually a little bit more delicate. So let's see here. There we go. I was having a little resistance from the syringe, so I just had to get it going. A little bit of resistance. There it goes right in. No problem. Let's keep flushing it through. We don't want this to solidify. We want to get it right in there. So this. Critical Care has all the proper uh, nutrients for herbivore animals. Um, and I know you may be thinking, uh, you know, how is that possible over the, the wide spectrum of animals that they have there? But it works. It's got uh, the number one ingredient is Timothy grass hay. So as we know, tortoises need to drink hay. So now what I'm going to do before I give him this injection, guys. We're gonna go back, oh, let me clamp this. See, this is why they give us the clamp, so you can keep it from actually dripping on them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna rinse this out. And we're just gonna fill up a couple syringes with some water. Uh, and this way, um, what'll happen is we can flush out that, um, that food. We don't want that food to kind of crust up inside the tube and it caused a problem. This is just a little work area that I have. Um, but the water's clean. And you know, you also don't have to worry about too much um, keeping things completely, you wanna make sure it's not too hot. Water about 90 degrees, that should be enough water. That's enough water and I'm gonna use this one thing. Um, what I was gonna also say guys, is you know, the, uh, the gut is not a sterile environment, so the water out of the sink is going to be fine, um, not a problem. So we're going to do this real quick. But you can kind of see um, how there's food in this tube. So we want to make sure that we've cleared the tube of the food. And that's what we're on about right now. So open that up. Just draw up some liquid. It's nice and warm for them. We just kind of flush it through. You see how we're flushing through there? Let's do it again. About 120 mLs should do it. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and clamp them. Oh, there we go. That's the lumps. I leave that right there for a moment. So that's um, that's what we do as far as you know the feeding in the morning, and then later on tonight I'm gonna have to come back, give them more Pedialyte, all liquids. Um, they get about a liter of liquid a day. That's what the weight. Uh, calls for with this tortoise. So um, it's pretty involved. Now what I got to do is I've got to give him this injection, which is no fun for me and certainly no fun for him. And I'm going to try and do this, folks. The cool thing about this particular drug, it's called septazidine. Uh, you can give it every 72 hours. Uh, you can give it intramuscularly. You can give it subcutaneously. Um, whereas some other drugs, you have to make sure you're giving the drug uh, right into the muscle. And there's some other drugs like Batril that can be a little bit more, um, well, it, it's kind of a powerful drug and sometimes you can cause a necrotic or an abscess to develop with that drug. Oh God, he's so heavy guys. I'm gonna really need your help here everybody. Just bear with me. Cause I'm gonna try and go in through the back in the skin in the back. So I've gotta kind of flip him a little bit. And it's no, he, obviously tortoises don't like to be flipped. Let's flip them this way. All right, so we've got them this way. And uh, you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, okay? 
so we've got the right gauge and I'm just gonna go for it right here and hope we're gonna do a subcutaneous oh god he's so strong I know I know buddy I know and let's just get it in there get all that good stuff in there good boy I know it hurts all right we got him in now I'm gonna pull it out oh there we go all right good boy lumps it's uh, a lot of work guys uh, but it's necessary and if you love your animals you're gonna want to get these animals uh, on the mend Whew. so there we have it lumpy having a tough go of it but you know what I like guys his eyes are wide open um, he's definitely certainly been a little bit more active so I'm happy about that okay um, it's kind of a bummer to see lumpy like this but I know that I'm doing absolutely everything that I can and that's in our power to help him. So I know that I'm doing the right thing for this animal instead of just letting him waste away or trying some non-aggressive techniques. Sometimes when the animals are sick, you really got to get into it. Um, and as we know, turtles and tortoises and reptiles in general, they take a long time to get sick and a long time to get better. So I wanted to do this video to update you guys. We're about three weeks into, um, into knowing about this disease and I'm only about one week into having the feeding tube in. So the good news is, is that Lumpy hasn't lost any weight. Uh, he, in fact, he gained about a pound. Um, but I really need to get that digestive system moving and that's why we're doing this. That's why we've got the Pedialyte, we've got the Metamucil, we've got uh, the Flagyl in them, that Metrozinol. Um, if I said that metrodzinidazole, let me try and say this correctly. You guys can help me right here. Let's sound it out together. Metronidazole. Metro, metrodinazole. There you go. All right. Metrodinazole. So uh, there it is. So I'm doing absolutely everything to get his gut feeling good and get that body moving. Remember, if he's been dehydrated, there's a possibility that uh, there's some uric acid crystals building up in his body. We need to get those dissolved so that he can pass them as urates. And um, that's the key. So I will let you guys know exactly what goes on with Lumpy. Please wish me luck. Um, I can't promise it's going to be a happy ending, but he's a strong tortoise and I'm hoping that strength gives him the fight he needs because I love this guy. He's one of my oldest tortoises. I've had him for a very long time. And as I mentioned before in other videos, he comes to me from a family, uh, the Crutales. Uh, Mr. Crutale took care of me when I was a young guy riding my BMX bike. He always got my, bike, uh, my car up and running so I could go to these events, the bike events. Um, and, and his friend, uh, I was very close with his daughter Dawn and his whole family. So I just want to make sure that I do everything I can because he gifted this animal to me back in 2004 when Lumpy was only about three years old. So uh, there you go, everybody. There's an update on Lumpy. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching the videos and learning along with me um, what we need to do for these animals. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification button. And don't forget to go to patreon.com slash campcannon if you want to help support videos like this that are actually informative and educational. All right, everyone, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up for Thumpy. Thumpy? No, Lumpy. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon.